Alonzo Brooks' death a homicide. This is a case that KCTV5 has been following since it happened back in 2004. Brooks disappeared after a party in Lacine, Kansas. His family spent weeks searching for him. They eventually found him face down in a creek. We talked with Brooks' mother last year. She's always suspected he was murdered. The original autopsy was inconclusive, but a new autopsy confirms those suspicions. And I want to know why. Why? Why my son? Why you hurt my son? The FBI is now in charge of the investigation. They're offering a $100,000 reward for information in the case. man's death now ruled a homicide, and now there's an investigation to see if the murder was racially motivated. Lonzo Brooks was found dead in 2004. Our reporter, Andres Gutierrez, talked with Brooks' family about the new developments all these years later. It was scary, a scary moment for us all. Um, this has never happened to us. Almost 17 years later, the family of Alonzo Brooks say they can't forget the sinking feeling they felt the day Brooks didn't arrive home after going to a house party in the outskirts of Lacine, Kansas. He never um, stood the night over anyone's house. He always was the type of person that wanted to go home to his own bed. Brooks' his family found his body a month later in a creek near where the party was held. The case went cold until the FBI reopened the investigation in 2019. Last year, agents exhumed Brooks' body and performed a new autopsy. Then on Monday, the FBI ruled his death as a homicide. We pray every day, you know, for justice to, to get that call to say, you know, we've got We've got suspects, we got a suspect. Investigators are looking into whether Brooks' death was possibly racially motivated. He was only one of three minorities at the party. We're not naive, we're not ignorant to know that there is racial um, issues out there and a lot of us in our family, because it's a big family, have um, come across it, but not to this ex extent whatsoever. There is still a $100,000 reward for tips in Brooks' case. And. If you have any information, just keep forwarding it to the proper authorities. In Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News. No, no, no. You see, the time is now. The time to make a difference in people's lives is right now. It's time for them cowards to step the fuck up because this don't make no sense what happened to this man right here, Alonzo Brooks. This guy fed TV when my fire started at. We back to flame another one the fuck down, all right? Because ain't none of us over here dumb and we far from, we far from ignorant we far from stupid. There ain't nothing but facts over here, okay? And the truth. Because it shall set all my people free. And we all know what the truth is when it comes to this case here. And we gonna go deep like I promised we was on this Alonzo Brooks case, okay? Now, we're going to talk about, we're going to get straight to it, that Boom family, we ain't cutting no corners, we ain't watering nothing down, yeah, that Boom family, listen here, okay, this Boom family out there in Lacine County was the ones that was throwing this party at this house that Alonzo went to with his friends, okay? And they're also very popular and very well known in that small county where a lot of corruption go on, a lot of racism go on. It's a lot of prejudiced things and it's very racially fucking divided out there. And they own it a cafe out there called the Family Cafe, okay? Now, now, I ain't about to get into all their names. I could get into a couple of their names. 
But allegedly, Alonzo Brooks was at the party with one of the boom daughters. Okay? And him and one of the boom daughters allegedly had some type of sexual relations or some shit like that. Okay? And she supposed to allegedly yell rape or some shit. And it spread it around the party, okay? And all Alonzo friends left him. But mind you, all the friends that he went with was white, okay? This Pat Boone and Joyce and Ron at their cafe. Now, rumor has it that they allegedly killed Alonzo and put him in a freezer with a shock collar. Okay? There's all kinds of posters on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Reddit, you name it. Talking about who's involved with this death. Okay? Everybody know what's going on. You read some of these texts, it's unbelievable. Look what Pat Boone put up here. You know? They all talk about that coon hunting. Coon this and coon that. That redneck talk. You see? And this where Pat allegedly got caught in his shit through a messenger. Saying that Alonzo Brooks could not swim. You see, but the thing is, the FBI and them, they got a hundred thousand dollar reward and the case been reopened, right? The case been reopened. And I'm just going off of these comments randomly. Okay. They got a hundred thousand dollar reward for what? When nothing has changed, but they got enough evidence to make an arrest. This boy parents went out there searching for his body a whole month after the sheriff's department and the KBI, which is the Kansas Bureau of Investigation, allegedly searched for his body and couldn't find it. But the family goes out there. After 30 days, they finally get the go to go search for the body and they find the body in 30 minutes. Now somebody placed that body there for them to find that body, okay? We ain't stupid over here. Okay? And it's fucked up because 
When Alonzo's body was found, everything was intact. There's no way his body was out there for no month. His body wasn't even decomposed. The stuff in his pockets. His wallet, excuse me, his wallet, his money, things like that of that nature. Paper, he was found in the creek. Things that should have been damaged by the water. <clears throat> Wasn't damaged by the water at all. Okay. Rumor has it that they kept this man in the freezer. They kept this man in the freezer down there. Kept his body preserved. They actually tortured him with this electric dog shock collar. Okay. That's fucked up. To die of a torture like that. And for nobody in that county to come forward. But there's people in that county that have came forward. And the FBI have enough evidence to make an arrest. They just don't have a confession but they have enough witnesses okay to make an arrest just like they have enough evidence with the motherfucking Kendrick Johnson case and they haven't made no arrest you know why they haven't made no arrest because this Boone family is connected to some higher officials they run deep in that county to the sheriff's department, even to the Supreme Court down there. And this is why it's been covered up for so long. You would think when the feds get involved, things would change. But where's Black Lives Matter now? It's exactly what I'm trying to tell you. This family deserves better. Better. This family deserves better recognition and publication when it comes to this case. But they put all this other nonsense and irrelevant shit in our face every day. But I hope they find justice for Alonzo and his family because it's fucked up. It's real fucked up. This show even, I mean this case even was on Unsolved Mysteries on Netflix. Prime time shit. Still, nothing's changed. Even the FBI ruled it a homicide, and nothing's changed. Continuous, continuously, the same answer, the same results. Nothing changed. I hope this family find justice and peace. Peace be still with this family. This guy Fear TV, like, share, and subscribe. And always remember, fear the fire, fear the flames. God fear.